Film, and uh, it's great to have you live. Uh, I just want to uh, let you know, Fort Myers is all here in the audience. We're all dressed up and we're about to party. And <laughs> we're, we're excited to have you. Tell us, uh, what's the little baby you have there? What's going on? How are you doing? <laughs> so, this is Jane. Fantastic. So how'd you how'd you do that? <laughs> we, we were at uh, so the film premiered world premiered at Sundance, yes, and we were we were worried that we were going to have to dinner, and then we came back and we were ten days after. Yeah, I had ten days after we came back. Uh, so he's, he's six weeks today. Oh my god! Yeah. Happy six weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Jason, Jason uh, this was uh, such a great film. Uh, tell us where you're at now, what you're doing, and what this, what completing this film has meant to you. Um, what I'm doing now is really just getting the film out there and getting distribution for it. Um, it's really just submitting to film festivals. Uh, Quietly, I'm telling you this because it all goes me around, but it's going to be on PBS POV next year. Oh, oh. <laughs> and really, what I'm trying to do is spend this year getting the film in theaters and stuff. So um, I started a Kickstarter campaign to try to raise enough money for the film to get in theaters. So if you go to the website, wonderwalk.com, it's down there, there's so some feel like tripping or tell people about it, that, that would be great. And, uh, well, what else do you ask me? No, please continue. Um, what else? Um, really just, yeah, that's it for the film. It's really just pushing out. I'm thinking about my next project. Uh, slowly but surely. This project was, as you saw, was eight years long. I know. So now I have to figure out what to do next. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, is, I'm down in the audience if I you want to take any audience questions. Jason, just so you know, we have Melissa on stage. It's at 1800. I'm down. Um, I'm down in the audience, Eric. Okay. Melissa's going to take a couple questions. So yeah, yeah, I can. You can hear her? Yeah. We loved your film. We, we fell in love with Thank both you. of you. Thanks. That wasn't a question, though. That was I, just. I swear, <laughs> there's, there's a question coming. It's okay. Something. This is a question from the audience. Here's a question. Hi, my name's Natasha Dvorak, and I have MS as well, and I have optic neuritis and Devic's disease. How does it feel knowing sometimes that your vision comes and goes, and you can't describe it to other people? Oh my God, it's like the most frustrating thing in the world to me. I have, I have really. Like my vision is probably being an artist and a filmmaker is probably the most frustrating symptom of them all because it's slowly getting worse and worse. And I figure in the past two years it's gotten progressively worse a little bit faster. And for me, that's the most frustrating thing. I'm, I, I don't know about you, but I'm always constantly reminding people that I can't see something. I can't read subtitles in the theater. So I like the word. Well, I like to just remind people about that specific symptom because people don't know about it. I like to joke about it too, you know, like, you know, let the blind one give them the one directions, you know? Like, <laughs> don't ask me. I have one more question. I'm sorry to, to compromise your time, but um, how did, did you, you didn't mention anything about your friends. Did you have a lot of friends that didn't understand the disease that you lost and you went through? Um, I did have a lot of friends. You know, I was actually, I moved in the course of the film from Vancouver to New York, so, I don't know, that's a good question, though. I didn't actually put my friends in the film. <laughs> Jason, Jason, there was one friend, and he was pulling you up uh, on the, when you were doing the film in Through the Sand. He was also at your wedding. Uh, he was taking video from, from back. Anyway, I, I was, it's interesting she mentioned that because I did see a few friends kind of sticking in there, not just Alice, who's a powerhouse. Alice, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, they're getting Woo! I got, I got to 
to meet your mother, Alice. Your mom is here. I was going to bring this up. Alice's mother has some ties to Southwest Florida, and she's here now. Are you with Alice, Melissa? Or no, no, not, no, not Alice, with Deborah. Alice's mom. Deborah, is, are you here? Is Deborah here? We have Deborah here tonight. Oh, she's, oh, she's here. She's here. I got a question for Deborah. How did you raise this wonderful woman to be so strong and so amazing? You know, she's fantastic. I'm, I'm very, very proud of my daughter. She's pretty amazing. And I can't believe how much Jason's grown. I haven't seen him for three weeks. <laughs> oh, Jason. Yeah. So it's really a pleasure. Very, I, think very what, I think it's worth saying, uh, Alice's mom, we, we know she has a nest as well, and she's here tonight. Uh, we, uh, everyone who purchased a ticket tonight, uh, we're making a, a, a donation of a portion of that to MS to benefit Lee Collier and Charlotte. And we also have uh, Lisa Grimm here today. I don't know if she's around or wants to say anything uh, before we get up and party. It, it, Alice, will you, uh, Melissa, maybe you can find Lisa. Lisa, could you raise your hand? I want you to... So maybe to say something, but uh, Alice, what is what is it like? How are you so strong, and and how are you doing with it with with a child now? <laughs> I don't know. It's um, I guess I'm strong because Jason's strong, and then because of his attitude, I'm able to take it well. And um, it's definitely challenging having Jace and Jason at the same time. <laughs> but um, we're just we're going along, just like you saw in the film, and. I don't know. Maybe having the easygoing lifestyle of, of growing up in Naples, Florida, maybe <laughs> that that helps me. <laughs> so. Oh, here, here, here. We have a special guest. Oh, yeah, she just flew in today. Oh, so yeah. I want her to say hi. Just hold on. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Oh. hey. I think we loved how honest... We both mothers. How beautiful. The moms are all here. I think uh, we were all loved your honesty and your realness with your son, and you're sitting there sticking about. How are you doing? Oh, um, I just went from Vancouver to spend spring break with him, um, and I've seen him. He's gone worse. Um, I, I was with him at Sundance, um, but he was so busy, but I did see some symptoms that were worse, but I was here last summer, and he's gone worse really fast, so it's sad, but I keep on telling him, let's look at the glass half full, not half empty. He's definitely a glass half full type of guy, and I love that thing to you. Melissa, any other questions out there uh, for, for, for Jason, Jason's mom, Alice, or baby Jason? Anybody? Baby Jason. No. Yeah, good to see you guys. Oh. Is that, do we have Lisa over there? We have some all the way on the other side. We do have another, we're going to do one more question, and then we're going to a party, and we thank you for Skyping in, but we have at least one more question for you guys. Okay, okay hold on. Uh, it, it's literally, it's like a mile <laughs> from the first question I'm to the second down. question, so Melissa's <laughs> running over there with a microphone. She stands, she's walking on people. She reached me. <laughs> Um, I have to say that I, I love the film, but I'm going to be honest, I had to walk away, I was hysterically crying. And, P.S., your family is gorgeous. Um, what I have to ask is, what gave you the strength to make this film when you're going through your personal, you know, trials and tribulations, and then your family, and your friends, I mean, you are so strong and beautiful, how do you do it? Oh, thank you. You know, I think when I first started the film, I didn't realize what I was getting into. That's the only, the only reason why I like this film got done. Well, two reasons. One is because Alice supported me. <laughs> and then one was just I wanted to finish what I started. And I think that really, you know, when I was getting, my mom confessed that, you know, really, none of us realized what I was getting into when I first got a mass or first started this film as well. It was just my whole thing was I wanted to finish the film. So well, it think took eight years. You love filming. Yeah. Jason loves being a filmmaker and every day that's something that's his passion. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was saying before, because one of my friends were like, Oh my god, this is so hard to watch and I was like, well, 
for the first night of our Fort Myers Film Festival of the third season. It not only shows strength of a person going through so much, but it also shows the passion that you have, that you're not letting anything stand in the way, not your passion for film, your hobbies, your life, your loved ones. And I loved how your beautiful, beautiful wife and your child, like, it's so beautiful because she, she, no matter what, she stayed by you and you stayed by her. And honestly, God forbid, you know, anybody that goes through anything this hard, may, you know, no matter what, it's, it's definitely an inspiration in all, all categories. Very Thank you. Yeah. I'm just glad to share with you. We'll be outside, there's opportunity to meet and bring her and Deborah Alice's mom. Jason, Alice, and baby Jason, I want to thank you so much. And all of the information I'm going to share on our Facebook page uh, so that we can make, make everyone here aware of how to support you in your campaign. And we've, we, we've, the whole town is really surrounded. So we're going to party now, and uh, we're, going to, we're going to try to keep you on Skype for as much as that as you want to see, but people are going to be getting crazy and having fun. Uh, again, uh, thanks to everybody. We're going to have a party. Bring it up to Melissa. If you uh, have your VIP uh, tickets or lanyards, you can head backstage if you want to get one. They're available at the front. Thanks for coming up. Big thank you, Jason, Allison, Baby Jason. We wish you guys the best.